Exactly, did you find of your opponent online? YouTube, right? Yeah, just YouTube, like a little. Yeah, like one fight. I think it was like two, or three years ago. And I just watched a little bit of that to see some of the stuff, some of the kind of stuff that does, and some stuff that's unique from other fights. Just take it little by little. Now, how do you prepare for a fight without knowing exactly who you're facing? I mean, I feel like I'm unique, just like anybody else. So I just continue what I do every day, just train hard in the gym, get in shape. Cutting the weight down, right, eating right. Just, just being disciplined. So I, so I do just prepare for the fight and whoever comes comes. Now, for those that might not know you because of the television time, you've obviously shared the ring with a lot of these guys here. Yeah, you've been in there with Omar Subal Douglas, who's going to be on this card versus Javier Fortuna. And I, I believe you've even been in there with Danny Garcia, right? And Jason Sosa. I mean, so many names that you've shared the ring. What do you pick up in those sparring sessions, in those teaching sessions? What could Milton Santiago pick up? And, uh, you know, moving forward, how do you utilize that in the ring? I just, it's just being like intelligent, being real smart, because sometimes I feel myself taking like risks I don't need to take. And they, they just know like those little veteran moves here and there, holding and stuff, little stuff like that. So I just pick up on that stuff and then use that stuff in the fight. Okay. So for those that haven't seen you, what sort of fighting style would you say you have? Um, I can fight both ways and I fight off of a lot of different angles. So sort of a kind of a Manny Pacquiao-ish kind of fighter. But, you would say, but I don't really know. Do you think you have that power? Um, I feel as though I have power even on my knockouts on show. I'm still young, I still, I just gotta learn, learn on sitting on my punches a little bit more and then I'll, just, I'll get a few knockouts in the future. And how old are you exactly? Uh, I just turned 20 years old. Okay. And uh, 130, right? Yeah, 135. Oh, 135. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the amateurs, what division were you in? Uh, in the amateurs, I was playing 140, around, around no. that weight division. So you've gotten down as a pro. Yeah. You think you can get lower, or this is it? Uh, 35 is my weight. Okay. <laughs> so you're excited to be fighting here in Philly on this big car with Danny? Oh, yeah, definitely. I've been wanting to fight in the same car as Danny since I was, since I was just turned pro, and it's been real difficult. Because a lot of different fighters want to go on a lot of big cards and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's just an honor and a blessing. And I thank God for it because without him, without him, none of this is possible. Wow, that's awesome. What, what exactly would you consider it um, to be an honor? Like, why? Because you've been training with him for so long as an amateur yourself? Yeah, exactly. and yeah, watched... exactly. yeah we've been in the same gym since I was about five, six years old when he was in the men's division and stuff like that, making his way up to the pros. And then, obviously, now world champion. So, this is an honor to be being the same gym as him and I just pick up anything I can from him. That's awesome, Milton, man. So uh, what can we expect on November 12th from you? W, most definitely. I'm training hard for it. Those uh, deserve it. So, yep, yeah, hopefully I'll see a W. All right, brother. Thank you so much. No problem. No other sight in the game can see the boxing boys. 